Hello everyone, welcome back to Pathly. So in today's video, we will learn how to create Zoho Desk ticket from webbook response. So here, let's say that whenever I receive a new webbook response, let's say through form submission. So here I have created a jot form to capture the webbook response and I have shared this jot form across my Zoho Desk contact. So here whenever a Zoho Desk contact will fill in that jot form, then I wish to create a Zoho Desk ticket for the same Zoho Desk contact. So to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I will be using Pabli Connect. So here in my trigger application, it, is, it will be Webhook by Pabli and my action application will be Zoho Desk. So to learn how I set up the integration between these two, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will learn how to create Zoho Desk ticket from Webhook response. So here, let's say that I have created jot form to collect queries of my Zoho Desk contacts. So now every time when I will receive the response, then automatically I want to raise a ticket in Zoho Desk for the same. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications. For that, I will be using Pabli Connect. And now as an existing user, I will sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 tasks for free. So here I will sign in. Now this is the all applications page by Pabli. I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side and click on this create workflow button. And now in this dialog box appearing, I will give my workflow a name and here I have named it as create Zoho desk ticket from webbook response. So over here on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders that I've created before. So I want to create this workflow in the folder named as Zoho desk. Now I will simply click on create. Now, as I did that, I have arrived on a very important window, which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect. So here the trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action is an automated response of your trigger application. So moving to my use case, that is to create Zoho Desk ticket from webbook response. So here to capture the webbook response, I'm using jot form. So this is the form that I have created. It consists of the fields like name, email, phone number, date and time and along with the query box. So over here, this is the form which will help me to capture the response over here in Pabli Connect. So now to connect this, I will copy this webbook URL and I will go to my jot form and here in my jot form, I will go to settings and in settings, I will go to integrations. And now in integrations, I will search for webbooks and here it is. And now I will just remove this and paste the webbook URL over here that I've copied from Pabli Connect. And now I will click on complete integration. So it says integration ready. You have successfully created your integration. So now that means my integration is done. I will go to publish and over here, I will copy this link and I will open this form over here. So over here, now I need to do a form submission. So as I've already mentioned that I have created this jot form to collect the queries from my Zoho desk contacts. So over here in my Zoho desk, these are the contacts that I have. So let's take an example that I'm using this contact. So now I want to create a ticket for this particular contact that is by the name of dummy demo. So what I will do is I will simply copy the details and I will mention it in the form that I've created for a Zoho desk contact. So now over here, I need to mention the name. So the name is dummy demo. So I will simply copy the name, go back to jot form and over here, I will paste the name. So over here, I've mentioned these details. Now I will mention the date and time. So the date will be 26th and the time will be 4 p.m. So over here, I'm filling a dummy query like update phone number. So this is the query that is to update phone number. And now I will click on submit. And here you can see that thank you, your submission has been received. That means this response would have been captured in Pabli Connect. So here in Pabli Connect, you can see that I've received the response. Here you can see the details like the form title along with some other details that is of the first name, last name, email, phone number and some other details. So the first step of this automation is done. 
that was to capture the webhook response so now whenever any of my zoho contact will fill that chat form then automatically the response will be captured over here in pably connect so this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time so as i've got the response now moving to my further objective that is to create zoho disk ticket from webhook response so over here what i will do is as this was already a zoho contact so in my action application i will again search for zoho disk and here it is and now in the action event i will search for find contact so as while making the form submission i have used the details of my zoho contact so now i'm finding that contact so to find that contact i need to establish a connection between my zoho disk account and pably connect so i will simply click on connect and here if you have an existing connection you can go with the same or you can add a new connection so to add a new connection i will click on connect with zoho disk and here you need to enter your domain name so that means over here in this url this is my domain name so moving back to pably connect that is zoho.in so i will simply copy this from here and i am going to paste it over here and now i will click on save and here i will accept it as this is a secure connection and the authorization was successful so here you can see that zoho desk is successfully connected with pably connect so now over here to find the contact in zoho desk over here i need to mention the email so now over here from the response received i will map the email so basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step so over here from the response received i am going to map the email and i have mapped it so why i have used mapping over here because i want whenever a new webhook response will be captured then automatically the email id of that person who has just submitted the form should be gathered over here in this email box and the workflow should run smoothly so over here i have mapped it and now i will click on save and send this request so over here in the response received you can see that i have got the details of the contact successfully and along with that i have got the data owner id over here so as i found the contact so now i will move further so i will click on this add action step and now over here in this action window i'm going to use this feature by pably that is filter by pably So filter by Pably will help me to put a condition in this automation. That is, if the contact ID exists, that was the owner ID which we have received from the response. So if the contact ID exists, then only this automation should run ahead. So now here in select label from the response received from find contact, here I am going to mention the contact ID. So here this is the contact ID, and now in filter type that will be exist. So if this contact ID exists then only this workflow should run ahead. So now I will click on save and send test request. And here I have received the response. It is a positive response. The status is success and the message is condition is true. That means this workflow will only run ahead if the contact ID will exist. In the case if the contact ID will not exist, that means this workflow will not go ahead. Now moving further in this workflow I'm going to create a ticket for the same contact so over here I will again search for zoho desk in my action application and now I will go to the action event and over here I will go for the action event as create new ticket so now to create a new ticket again I need to establish a connection between zoho desk and pably connect So as I've already used Zoho Desk once in this workflow so I will simply go with the existing connection and here you can see that Zoho Desk is again connected with Pably Connect so moving to the organization and department so Pably Connect is already captured so moving to subject over here I need to mention the subject so here I'm mentioning the query as the subject so I'm searching for query over here and this is the query that is update phone number So now moving to contact I will click on this map button if you want to enter the value manually instead of selecting the value from the drop down so you can map the value from the previous step in your workflow as well so over here I am clicking on map and I will just remove this id 
So as I've already got the owner ID from the find contact response. So over here, I will search for owner ID. And here is the owner ID. So as this is an existing contact, so I will not mention the email and phone number details. That is why I've mentioned the owner ID over here. So over here from the response received, I'm going to map the due date and I've mapped it. So now over here in due date, as the due date doesn't follow the instruction that is given below. So I need to make some changes in the due date. So to make the changes, what I will do is I will go to this action step. And over here, I will search for date, time for matter. So daytime formatter is a feature of Pabli that helps you to change the format of date and time. So over here in action event, I want to format the date with time zone. So over here, I will simply click on connect. And now I need to mention the date over here. So from the response received, I'm going to mention the date and here I have mentioned it. Now the from format is this and the to format will be changed to this format. Moving to from time zone and to time zone. So over here in to time zone, I'm going to search for Kolkata as the time zone will be Asian Kolkata. So now I will click on save and send this request. So I will remove this and from this date time format response, I will be mapping the date and time and I have mapped it. Moving to category, subcategory. So here I want the category to be general and the subcategory as subgeneral. And the priority of this ticket should be high and the channel will be email. Here I will change the assignee name. So here the status of the ticket is open. So now what I will do is I will simply click on save and send test request button. And over here I have received the response and it is a positive response. And here in my Zoho Desk account under tickets you can see that a new ticket has been created. And here you can see that it goes as update phone number and along with that you can see the contact information. So as I will click on this. So here you can see that this is the contact information that we have. So here this integration and automation was successful. So this integration and automation was a successful one. Now whenever a new webhook response will be captured, then Zoho Desk we will find the contact and then we will apply a filter that this automation should only run if the contact exists and then we will create a new ticket in Zoho Desk. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.